It is not that people disappear in my family. They are just not there. It is as if they never existed in the first place. They are never talked about. We never hear their names. It is like they were never born. Sometimes it's easier if you pretend someone doesn't exist. It dulls the pain. I wonder, is that what Annie and Liz did? Did they keep their thoughts shut away deep inside their minds as they kept moving, hunting, trapping, hiding in the bush? Were they exhausted, defeated by it all, just trying to survive while everything was changing around them? Annie, her brothers and sisters, and all their children were born right in the thick of it, in the mouth of genocide, thrust from the land and their very ways of being, tossed into the fast-evolving, unfamiliar world of the settlers. Life was upended. They were no longer in control of their movements. They were confined by the Indian Act, by white Indian agents, by church officials, by those who made foreign laws. They were forced to live by their wits. <laughs> <laughs>